it's homework time. Yes, hep, hep, pepe. Homework time is here yet again. Let's start out the right way. Jot our da name down. Top of the paper. I'll write my name and you go ahead and write yours. And let's take a moment and put the date. Today's date. All right, today you write the actual date where and when you are in this wonderful world of ours. So our instructions are to find the equivalent fraction. Holy Toledo, equivalent fractions. We know how to do this using multiplication, as we see we'll be doing in A. They set us up for that. Or division, as in B. Then we'll shade the area models to show the equivalencies, record it as a decimal. We so got this. All right. Okay, so look, in this first one, we're going from four tenths and we're going to hundredths, all right? Um, so what do we multiply 10 by to get 100? Uh, yeah, 10. And so we want a value of 1, so it's going to be times 10 tenths. Oh, got the right tiny there. So what is 4 times 10? Yes, indeed, it's 40. And let's go ahead and record as a decimal while we're here, 40 hundredths. Yeah, so the way we write it, we put the zero point, because we don't have any ones there, so we'll put a zero just to mark that place so the number looks sensible. And then we write 40 such that, yes, the end of the 40 is in the hundredths place. So 40, where are we? Hundredths, okay. So here's, these are tenths, right? So one, and you could do a better job of shading than I'm going to. Two, three, four tenths. Now watch, I can actually do the same thing over here and end up with 40 hundredths. One, two, three, and a four. And look, that's 40 hundredths, isn't it? Four tenths equals 40 hundredths. Zumba. So now we're going to do uh, something similar with 60 hundredths. But what do we divide 100 by to make it tenths? Yeah. 10 again. There we go. Everything's tens here today. Happy 10 day. And we're going to do, again, a value of 1. So we're changing form, but not the value of the number. Dividing it by 1 in the form of 10 tenths. 6 divided by 10 is 6. This should look mighty familiar. We did this back with equivalent fractions. And so uh, let's do the tenths first so you can see how this works. So we're going to do 6 out of 10 here, right? 3... Four, and again, feel free, five and six. Feel free to do a better job shading than I am. Um, and if I do the same thing, six columns here, two, three, four, five, six. Believe it or not, I have, yes, 60 hundredths there. So that's number one. It's all y'all, let's go on to number two. And in number two, you see we're doing something quite similar, although it looks a little different. We're going to complete the number sentences right here. Shade the equivalent amount on the area model. Z -z 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 -z. Drawing horizontal lines to make hundredths. That's going to be a bit of a pain. Won't lie to you. And then it doesn't mention it, but um, we need to write it in decimal and fraction form as well. So 36 hundredths. Okay, let's think about that. All right. Um, and... Let's go ahead and write it in decimal form. So 36 hundredths means simply the number 36 that ends in the hundredth place. That's one way of thinking about how to write it. 36, where are we? Hundredths. Great. And so now in fraction form, it's even more straightforward. It's 36 hundredths. 36 over 100. 36 hundredths. Now, in order to decompose this as tenths and hundredths, simply look. What's in the tenths place? Three. How many tenths are there? Three. Three tenths. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. Let's go to the hundredths place. What's in the hundredths place? Six. Ergo, how many hundredths are there? Uh, yes, my little friends, six hundredths. Now, a couple of ways we can do the uh, area model here. So I'm going to do three tenths. And feel free again, as I say to shade more neatly than I do. So there's three tenths. Now, right here, look, I'm going to go, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six hundredths. Now, I could draw 
nine horizontal lines across the whole thing to turn the whole thing into hundredths, but I kind of like this. So you could still see clearly three tenths and six hundredths, okay? So there we go. Um, so 82 hundredths now. Let's write that in decimal form. 82, that ends in the hundredth place. So 82, the two is in the hundredths place. That's 82 hundredths as a fraction. 82 hundredths is simply, that's right, 82 hundredths. Look in the tenths place. What's there? Eight. How many tenths? Eight. Don't make this hard. Look in the hundredths place. What's there? Two. How many hundredths? Two. There we go. So now eight tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight tenths, and now we just need two hundredths. So there's one. Two hundredths. So there's eight tenths and two hundredths, eighty two hundredths. Great. Uh, let's move on. Hey, number three. This is pretty straightforward. We're going to circle hundredths to compose as many tenths as we can, then complete the number sentence down there and represent each with a number bond as shown. This one's already done for us. So look, these are hundredths. Let's think about it again as I love to in terms of money. So here we have, these are pennies. These are all pennies. How many pennies do we have? Well, there's 10 and 4, so we have 14 pennies. Pennies are cents. Cents are hundredths. So there are 14 hundredths, okay? And that's what we see here as well, 14 hundredths. Great. So now, look, we could take these, and we're only going to work with pennies and dimes because we're only working with hundredths and tenths. We can take these 10 pennies right here and circle them, okay? And these we can trade in for a dime, okay? We can trade them in for one-tenth of a dollar, a dime, right? And there's that one-tenth there. So how many tenths do we have? Yes, there's one-tenth and four pennies, four cents, four hundredths. Look at that. Brilliant! All right, let's do another one like this, 3B. Right, here we are in B. Very similar looking, yes? Okay, so let's start it off. These are pennies, they're cents, they're hundredths, okay? How many pennies are there? Well, 10, 20, 4. Okay, so we have 24 pennies, which is 24 cents, which is 24 hundredths. 24 hundredths. Let's write that as a decimal so we can decompose this bad boy, all right? So 24 ending in the hundredths place. Great. So now, how many tenths and hundredths can we uh, compose here? Well, look, I'm going to take these 10 pennies. You've got to remember, these are pennies, okay? There's a uh, common mistake here is to circle these 10 and say, that's one whole. It's not. They're pennies. Do 10 pennies make a dollar? I uh, know, my friends, no. So this makes a dime. This makes a dime. It makes 10 cents. It makes one-tenth of a dollar. And same thing here. There's another 10 pennies. These are going to make another tenth. So how many tenths do we have now? A one, a two. Yeah, there's two. All right. So now we have two tenths. And so let's decompose that up here as a fraction. Two tenths, right? And how many hundredths? How many pennies still? Well, there are four hundredths. So we'll decompose that as a fraction as well. Four hundredths. That's it. All right. Let's go look at the beginning of number four. What? Calm. Great. Number four. Use both tenths and hundredths. Place value discs. Oh, place value discs. To represent each number. And we'll write the equivalent number in decimal fraction unit form. Uh, fortunately, they made the numbers nice and manageable here. So we have four hundredths, okay? So we can go ahead and just write that as a decimal. Four hundredths is a four in the hundredths place. So this is the ones place, decimal point, no tenths, and four hundredths. So the only mistake I see made in this sort of thing is to write 0 0.4, but that's four tenths, right? Four in the tenths place. We're looking for four hundredths. 
How many hundredths is that? Well, it's just four hundredths, so we can't make it more complicated than that. All right, so now we need to draw our hap, hap, happy little place value disk. So here's a penny. And here's another one. Remember, we're doing hundredths. We have four hundredths we're drawing. So there is 0 0.01 is how we write that. Yeah, having fun? All right, there we go, four hundredths. Boom, done. Okay, so now we have 13 hundredths. So we'll write a 13 such that it lands in the hundredths place. Let's leave, uh, actually, we can go ahead and do this. It's easy, look. All right, it's attainable. What's in the tenths place? One. How many tenths are there? One. One tenth. What's in the hundredths place? Three. How many hundredths are there? Three. Boom. That's it. All right. So now when we go to draw this, though, uh, we're going to do hundredths, and then we have to group them together. So this is going to take a little bit of drawing, because we have to do 13 of these bad boys. So 0 0.01, and I'm going to do five across in a row, okay, to make things look beautiful. I mean, sometimes this stuff is tedious. It's a little boring to do. But you, since you have to do it anyway, might as well do it well. Take pride in your work. Have it look good. Have it smell good. And, uh, and learn from it as well. There's plenty of work you'll have to do in your life that you know, involves some tedium. And you, know, you, you learn over time just how to get all you can out of that. So look, boom, while I'm talking about it, there's our ten hundredths. Now remember, these are pennies. We're not changing in ten pennies for a dollar unless you found somebody who is rather gullible. We are changing in ten pennies for a dime, yes? So these are one-tenth, right? And there's our one-tenth, there's the one-tenth and thirteen hundredths. And then we, of course, have the other three hundredths, so one I'm just going to do these going down because, you know, you start to run out of room here. I can do this one over here. All right. So there we go. So there's our 13 hundredths we have all together, 10 of which are grouped together into a tenth. And as we often see, we have some practice to do here. We still have C and F on number, uh, C through F to do on number four. Let's do it. Well, there. Here we are, C through F, rounding it out here. Whoa, what's up? Look, here they give us, so they kind of mix it up here a little bit. And these, in C and D, they'll give us the decimal form. We have to write the fraction. That's a fraction bar, not a space to write on. And then this is a space to write on. How many hundredths is that? Here, just how many tenths? Get a little preview here. And in uh, E and F, they give it to us in, yes, in unit form. And we have to write both the fraction and decimal. And for all of these, we need to write the this. Yeah. Okay, all right. So this is, if we just read this as a number here, it's 41, what place are we in? 41 hundredths. So that tells you right here, 41 hundredths. And to write the fractione, it is 41 hundredths. Can't make that hard. Okay, now, personally, I have an issue with trying to write uh, 0 0.01. 41 times, I do not feel that is a very good use of my time or yours. So God forgive us all. I am going right to saying, hey, these are tenths. The four tenths are four tenths. So look, here's four tenths. And if your teacher disagrees with me, well then fine. They have every right to. <laughs> But for my students, for me and my students, uh, we're going to write, look, there's, there's four tenths, and how many hundredths? One hundredth. And see, so instead of taking five minutes to draw about 41 of those hundredths, 41 pennies, might as well do four dimes and a penny. There we go. Four tenths, one hundredth. Done. And especially here, I mean, golly, I mean, there's no way you're going to write out 90 pennies. That's silly. So this is 90 hundredths is what we have here, right? So when we are writing fraction form, yes, we're going to call it 90 hundredths because it does go out to the hundredths place. But how many tenths is that? Well, what's in the tenths place? Nine. It's nine tenths. That's it. So we're going to do 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 
one tenth and one tenth and one tenth and one tenth. And remember, we do rows of five and then grrr, reset. One tenth, one tenth, and there's the ninth one. Great. So uh, we don't have enough to make a dollar, right? We have nine dimes here. There we go. That one's done. Six tenths, three hundredths. Well, look, let's do the decimal first. We'll put a six in the tenths place and a three in the hundredths place. Don't make this hard. It doesn't have to be. Great. So that's 63. What place are we in? 63 hundredths. There's our fraction, 63 hundredths. And once again here, you got to be crazy, oh, you think I'm going to draw 63 pennies. I'm going to draw 6 tenths, and I'll do rows of 5, as I was doing. Sorry, that one's a little sloppy. Mm -mm -mm. So there's 5 and 6 tenths. And then three hundredths. So these are pennies. It's 0 0.01. Oh, can I squeeze in the third one here? Careful. Do it! All right, six tenths, three hundredths, 63 cents, 63 hundredths. Lovely. 90 hundredths. Well, we're going to write 90 and have it end in the hundredths place. So 90 ending in the hundredths place. Ah, look, it's the same as D. They're good, aren't they? So that's 90 hundredths, isn't it? 90 hundredths. And now, it's almost pointless, but I'm going to draw the same thing again. There ain't no way, y'all, I'm going to draw uh, 90 pennies here. So I'm going to draw 9 tenths again, which I feel in itself is kind of overkill and unnecessary because, well, I just did it. I could just draw an arrow there, but... You know, I'll be a little good at least. Um, but again, if your teacher insists on you drawing 90 pennies, well, you know, so be it. So, but you could, if you can explain to your teacher, I believe they'll accept that. If you say, hey, I know that 90 pennies is nine dimes, right? I can even write up here, hey, that's equal to nine tenths. That's equal to nine tenths, and there are nine tenths here, which is equal to 90 hundredths, and look, yes, did it, complete another homework time, so I'll see you again next time, it is once again homework time.